It was meant to begin with the announcement of results as scheduled. Just as Nigerians expected the process to proceed in the same tranquil manner in which the exercise was conducted when it started the previous day, a former minister for the Niger Delta, Godstio Rubebe, brings proceedings to a temporary halt. The temporary respite witnessed is shattered as Mr. Rubebe returns with his protest. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are ready to continue. Can you please call the next person? Professor Jagger, you cannot continue. You cannot continue. He said you are going to respond to the issue. You cannot continue. Professor Jagger, you cannot continue. You cannot. The INEC chairman calmly looks on as the tirade goes on. After the former minister runs out of steam, Professor Jagar responds to the accusation and runs off with a subtle rebuke. As I speak with you now, I have not received anything from the secretary to the commission. That is with regards to the issue of the so-called petition. With regards to what you said about results published by, uh, allegedly published by APC on his website, you know, I, I do not give results to anybody. The results we announced formally as INEC are results that are declared here. And we have warned everybody to be careful and to ensure that they do not declare results which we have not officially announced. So as far as I'm concerned, I have not seen any results. I have not given anybody any results. So for you to even engage me on that issue, I think, frankly, it is not fair to me. I have not seen the results. How can I speak about something I have not seen? So please let us be careful about what we say or do, and let us not disrupt a process that has ended peacefully, and in a matter of hours, we would be able to finish it. Mr. Orubobe, you are a former minister of the Federal Republic. You know, you are a statesman in your own right, so you should be careful about what you say or what allegations or accusations you make. And certainly you should be careful about your public conduct. After the rebuke, the announcement continues. APC 657678. The tension generated by Mr. Rubebe's outburst is then doused with a bout of comedy. The returning officer from River State has the result, but not the vision to read them out. Lights from a mobile telephone do not provide enough illumination. It takes an electric lamp, as well as the assistance of yet another person, to finally get out the results from River State. However, the INIC chairman explains why the results were read in spite of a protest from the APC in the state. Elections all over are not perfect, but we do not see substantial grounds upon which to cancel and reschedule the entire elections held in River State. So that is why we are taking the results of Rivers now. And then the moment everyone has been waiting for the winner of the 2015 presidential elections. Nigerians and indeed the whole world waited and waited and waited. But Professor Jaga, being whom many claim he is, was meticulous and insistent on adding up the results manually, ward by ward, state by state, and party by party, until he was satisfied. And finally, the moment of truth. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan, 
of PDP received 1285-3162 votes. 1285-3162 votes. 12 million 853,162 votes. Muhammadu Buhari of APC received 1542,4921 votes. 1542,4921 votes, 15,424,921 votes. Muhammad Buhari of APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, and scored the highest number of votes is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Indeed, it's been a long drawn, hard fought battle. But General Mohamed Buhari has now fulfilled his dreams. He is Nigeria's president elect. Nigerians will be hoping that General Buhari makes their dream come true, dreams of a prosperous and peaceful nation.